Thomas Bradwardine, Dean, De Causa de e Contrapelagium, Episode 3. Hanc et am suppositi onem testardri videtur, pater philosophordrum hermogenes, siwa Hermes, Mercurius triplex, tris magistus triplex, in philosophia ter maximus, rex Egypti, philosophus et propheta, de verbo ai terno, triginta et quatuor, dicens de Deo, ipsa totus est plenus atque perfectus, et infra triginta et quinque, ipsa sanctus et incordruptus, et sempiternus est, et sequid potest milius nuncupari. In the previous episode, episode 2, we were introduced to a supposition or an hypothesis. Now this is a continuation of that idea. So this hypothesis also, testardri videtur, seems to be testified to. And then we have the subject pater. So pater is masculine singular and nominative. And he is described as the pater philosophorum, the father of the philosophers. Philosophorum, of course, masculine, plural, and genitive. And then his name is given, Hermogenes. So pater, the subject of videtur. So we would say, the father of philosophers, Hermogenes, seems to give testimony, testardri, hanc suppositionem, to this hypothesis. So hanc suppositionem, feminine singular and accusative, the object of this deponent verb, uh, which is here an infinitive, testor, and then testari, which is a first conjugation deponent verb. We're then going to get a number of names for this individual, Hermogenes, the father of philosophers. And the majority of these are in the nominative. So he is Merc he is also Hermes, Siwa Hermes, masculine singular, nominative. He's also known as uh, threefold Mercury, Mercurius triplex. He's known as Trismegistus triplex. And often this person is simply called Hermes Trismegistus. In other words, uh, thrice great Hermes. So this was a, a character who was uh, as ancient as Moses, and to whom were attributed a great number of philosophical works, but it is definitely uh, a forgery. Um, this was much, much later in Christian times. Nevertheless, this individual had a great influence on many thinkers, though his works were not by Hermes, and they were not of great antiquity. So he's thrice great, Trismegistus triplex, in philosophy, in philosophia, so there we have a feminine singular and ablative, he was three times the greatest, Ter Maximus. He was the king of Egypt, Rex Aegypti. He was a philosopher, and he was a prophet. So these are all nominatives, masculine singular nominative, though from different declensions. Rex is third declension, philosophus, second declension, and propheta, first declension. And then we have Aegypti, of course, in the masculine singular and genitive. So this individual, De Werbo Aeterno, about the eternal word, or in his work on the eternal word, chapter 34, he says of God, he himself is all complete, ipsa totus est, full and perfect, atque perfectus. And a little further down in chapter 35 of this work on the eternal word, De Werbo Aeterni, Aeterno, he says that he himself, meaning God, is holy, and he is uncorrupt, and he is everlasting, sempiternus est, and sequid potest melius nuncupari. If anything, remember that C here, I'm sorry, the quid is to be understood as aliquid, it's the indefinite pronoun, and if anything better, melius can be named, nuncupari. So this is not a deponent verb, but a common verb, nuncupo, first conjugation, nuncupare, and it means to name. So it is a synonym of nomino nominare, or perhaps of appello, appellara. So as Brad Verdeen begins his philosophical discussion of the nature of God, de causa dei, he begins with this individual, Hermogenes, known as Hermes, threefold Mercury, thrice, thrice great, Trismegistus triplex, so we have the Greek form of thrice great, and we have the uh, Latin form meaning three times thrice great, along with the other descriptions. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that free lesson. Please like and subscribe. Hit the bell. You can also become a patron at patreon.com slash latinperdium. And if you really love it, you can leave a tip right here as a super fan. Thank you so much.